Good morning everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Alexander and welcome in today's video. Today it's Sunday, it's a race day and I decided you know that the uncut race video is not enough. I want to inform you how the race day looks like uh, behind the scenes and how I'm preparing for a big race this morning and stuff. So I will start from Friday. Friday around 4 p.m. we arrived here at Silver Lake this is where the race held uh, last year and also this year are the national championships we arrived at friday did a quick spin around 45 minutes on the road grabbed uh, dinner and that's all for that day i worked on a, a college project since today is the deadline i'll talk about that in a second saturday woke up breakfast get on a course when we got on the course the snow was a little bit deep uh, no one rode it before us so it was hard with it only two laps short clip about that After that we went on the road, couple of sprints of 10 seconds just to raise the heart rate a little bit. Then got back here, grabbed lunch. I worked on that project very very hard. My friend Vlada helped me a lot. Man, if you are watching this, thank you so much. We worked last night until the half past midnight. But since here I am with Andre Galovic in my room and you probably know he's the biggest favorite for the win beside me so he doesn't have problem with that we are all always together in rooms after that we watch some fails we don't want to go to sleep too early because if we wake up too early then we will have to eat two times but we've decided to eat only one before today's race because we card loaded very well in previous days so we still still didn't went to take breakfast many people already arrived big race day it's cold outside is minus seven the organization has right to cancel the race if the weather forecast says that's going to be under the minus five but man this is cycling and cyclocross is all about that snow winter cold no cancellation race must go on and that's all here you can see my previous bike and this year's bike I know I still didn't upload the video about the bikes, but I'm editing it probably around when this video is out. I still have one project to do and tomorrow it's another uh, exam for me. I didn't study for that. I hope that after this race I will get home as soon as possible, finish that and then it's going to be a little bit easier next week. Defend that project that I uploaded last night and I don't want to bother you with that. Right now I'll go grab breakfast and then I hope that someone will take this camera to m make some shots of the race but anyway if I didn't I will import some from the GoPro but uh, also I will show you how I prepare. It's not much but I didn't want to leave you without the video. Breakfast. How are you? Pop, 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 special fast service, hard food for Gale, and only rice for me. Lucky ready for race, lucky. These stuff are bad, but you really need to take at least one slice of bread with it. But anyway, that's all for food. We have two and a half hours till the race, now going to rooms. Rest a bit and then ready for race. Breakfast done, 
Meanwhile, I received this Belgrade champion jersey that I should pick up much earlier, but anyway, that's mine for the best uh, elite rider in Belgrade. And now going to the holy room. Just positive vibes. And also got so much power here. Strongest room ever. Legs, everything. Check that out. Oh my god. Chris from Younger. Ah, ah. This is what happens when you defend your title for the fourth time and fifth in total. And they give you number 27, like you are the last piece of something in the race but anyway that's motivation we can start on the end of the row and still we are the fastest ones so sorry but you cannot stop us man just chilling all the equipment is ready now trying not to think too much about the race we have lots of experience with these national championships in cyclocross only this is my sixth one and many many other ones so everything calm try to release all that pressure we have one hour until the beginning of the warm-up and it's two hours total before the race as you can see everything chilled Problem is we don't have any turbo trainer or the rolls for the warm-up So it's going to be a little bit, you know, colder outside to do it But still it's much important to warm up to start it early on time And to, to be able to hit it hard on the start because the whole race will last probably about 50 minutes maximum So that's all First pair of socks, then some foil And then second pair of socks. And we are almost completely ready. The clothes are on. Bikes ready. Go. I put a GoPro on the bike. And from now on I'm leaving this camera here. I'm going for a warm up. And hopefully someone will take cell phone or something. I ask my friends from club if they can do it. Probably they will. So a couple of shots from the cell phone will be interested also. And that's all. Wish me luck and see you after the race. Warm-up is done and let's hope for the best.
Čestitam moji seniorima. Oh yeah, oh yeah, these two guys are coming with me. Under 23 and senior national champion in 2017. Great uh, shots by Tamara, thank you very much. Right now I'm rushing to go to Belgrade first and then to Novi Sad. As I said you, I need to study for tomorrow's exam. And if that's tomorrow, but even if it doesn't go very well, this day went perfectly. National title again. Thank you everyone for supporting me. And that's all what to say. Uh, the national team preparations on the seaside will be from the January 30th. That means very soon. So I will upload of course some videos before that. But keep in mind that I will make many many shots and videos over there. So glad you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, click down that if you still didn't. See you in another video. Thanks guys.